structure there is power plant so yeah uh, like I said people can't really decide whether or not black hands underpowered or overpowered uh, purifying flame is pretty deadly but really you shouldn't let that get into your base and he's selling off cabals did get a price I probably said that in the first match they did get a price decrease but a damage decrease as well uh, a few yeah like I said a few units that didn't need to be touched were touched and I think uh, we just need to get the, the balance down pat there were some really good comments on the thread uh, about uh, balancing how, how we should just pretty much just go from 1.02 economy just balance out the broken units and fix the bugs first and then work from there so people have some really good insights we also have some people on there who aren't helping at all they're just criticizing uh, hardcore putting down the, the mod so that's it's not welcomed uh, we do appreciate constructive criticism but not really just you know flaming out the mod that's not good and look at that Thunderbolt does reach that garrison first and he's going to take these uh, guys down they can't decide where they want to go Still, they do take a fair bit of damage to kill, and most of them do make it to that structure, and they'll probably uh, easily defeat this uh, garrison here because they have two squads, not quite full, but still. And crazy GDI fan did not go for a spike. He he doesn't he hasn't gone for any of his spikes. What has gone? What has happened there? He built he built scouts, but he didn't go for the spikes. That's interesting. You'd think he he set himself back uh, doing that. He must have some kind of rush. Uh, in mind, he's not rushing though. He's just going for economy, so yeah, you would have thought he would have gone for his spikes then. I uh, thought he was trying something, obviously not. He should spread those scouts in the middle out. Uh, he got his, uh, econom his economy is actually behind. He can't place his ref, he's only just placed his ref now. So Thunder Bullis does have an advantage here. We did see the GDR player in the first game lose to Blackhand, but he really, you know, he had the opportunity, I think, to get himself into a, a better position and, and didn't take it, and Pimps uh, Flame Tanks really caught him off guard. So uh, let's see if Sumner Bullis can do a better job. Crazy GDI fan, has a Raider buggy in there. He's just taking a look around. No laser capacitors from Blackhand, but he can get the M Coil. M Coil is very good. Buggies can tank a lot of rocket damage. They're only 500 bucks, so you can pump them out, and they just absorb rockets like all hell, which I'm not really happy with, but uh, no one else seems to have a problem. So I'll just keep quiet. But yeah, buggies can just streamline in and just bam, empty up, big time. Of course, they're not very uh, resistant to stuff like railguns and cannons, so I guess that makes up for it. And triple, triple ref by Sumner Bullis. And it looks like Crazy GDI fan isn't going triple ref. He's really down on his spikes. He needs to do something about that. He wants to go for his infantry by the looks. And I said this in the first game, but perhaps GDI snipers would be better, better choice. They have a range increase. I mean, if you put them in APCs, you can just reverse move and kite around an imp span, and they'll just pick them off one at a time. And he is going APCs. I don't think anyone realizes that snipers were buffed. And, and another thing is with super weapons, it wasn't mentioned in the in the, the balance changes. Super weapons cooldown is just four and a half minutes. Uh, I'm not sure why it's four and a half. Could have just rounded it up to five. Five would have been better because uh, seven minutes, no one seemed to want to build them. Now they're cheaper than epic units. Build one, wait five minutes, get to launch a nuke or an iron cannon or uh, whatever the thing that screwed in is, rift generator. And a lot of APCs coming out. Again, I'd really like to see him put some snipers in those, but he's not going for an armory. He's going for air. Orcas against black hand. Ooh, I don't know about that. Actually, no, he gets an upgrade. He gets stratified right away. He's going for a tech center. I was going to say, Orcas against uh, black hand, not that good unless they're tank spamming. Um, Scorp tank spamming, there's not much else the Orca can do because purifiers aren't very common. I mean, that purifiers are buffed now, so you might want some Orcas late game, but against early game, you really got to watch out for the fast units, and those fast units can uh, seem to handle air pretty good. But he's going for APCs and Firehawks. So again, the, the, the black hand player probably should have uh, instigated some combat. He's actually teched as well. What's he going for? He's probably going for Particle Beam. It's only a thousand dollar upgrade, 30 seconds. That's pretty cheap. Uh, Tib Core has actually been. Was that 2000 before? That was. The, uh, I thought it was 25 and 115. That's been. That's come down. It's not as uh, over overpowering as it used to be. Tib Core used to be very powerful, and, and stealth tanks were just too much for a lot of players. Or the bike spam late game. I think uh, a little bit of a nerf to Tib Core was okay. Stealth tanks themselves have been nerfed. They were down to a thousand dollars and uh, a little bit of a damage decrease, but they ended up being spanned by a lot of players, and it was just like, whoa, super bikes with stealth. You know, so they've, they've fixed that. I'm not sure if it's it's totally balanced yet, but it's a lot better than it was. A few APCs coming down here again. No snipers. I want to see some snipers. I just don't think he's going to build any. 
Juggernaut's coming out as well. And he's got four Firehawks. Will he be going hard points? He needs to get those off the deck and start bombing something because they're all ready to go. There is a Scorp tank here, and the APM is not doing very much to that Scorp tank. They're taking their time. He's going to see those, that, that uh, airfield. He needs to get the Firehawks out of there and maybe think that uh, he's just got Orcas, not Firehawks. And they do strat it in. What are they going for? Tech Center. Bam, 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 bam. Nice move. There's no anti air at all. That's lack of scouting by the Black Empire. He's got zero anti air. Interesting to note that uh, he has gone triple ref after all this time. And uh, he has got a purifier with purifying flame, and he's got dual war factory, so he just appears to be just trying a little bit of everything here. APMO more than securing this expansion for Crazy GDI fan. Remember, guys, if you have replays, post them because I want good replays. I really had to scrape the bottom of the barrel here to get these up for the for the 1.03.3, which is what the patch is at at the moment. A lot of good matches. Should be really good. A lot of flame weapons coming down here. Those, uh, those black hand, they, they also benefit from uh, the purifying flame. And some flame tanks coming in. I think these APCs, they won't be able to hold the line just by themselves. There's a purifier there. They're not going to be able to kill that purifier because they're definitely nowhere near as powerful enough they need to be. That purifier can just tank all that AP ammo. And he's going for a Marv. Um, yeah, Marv, again, against black hand. Against his force, it would do wonders, but uh, he's not going to be able to get that out in time. It takes a full minute to build it now and he is a little bit stored on cash. Uh, the black hand player could just run in with his purifier, which is like a super health flame tank with a giant laser on it. And the fire horse coming in, he's obviously got a move order for everything. And he's building zone troopers, but that's, that's not gonna work. He's gonna get flamed out like all hell here. Oh man. And black hand just walk in the front door. Those fire horse, they shouldn't even be there. He's obviously uh, panicked a little bit. Uh, Some the bullets. Again, this is an, these, these replays aren't a representation, representation of skills, so you can't judge anyone too harshly here. Uh, this purifying flame is very powerful. I can't see anyone saying that that's underpowered at the moment. Again, you probably should have scouted that. I mean, the, the GDI player had time. The black hand player probably could have done uh, more scouting as well to see those firehawks. And that Sonic Committee goes straight down. It gets one shot, and all those infantry go down. The APCs are going to come in now, and now they're going to mop up. There's too many APCs, they're going to clean it up without almost zero loss. There is a fair bit of damage coming off there, uh, but they're going to be fine. Again, I would have liked to see snipers. Maybe in an open map, snipers would have been better. Crazy GDFI fan has been a, has expanded. He was in a pretty bad condition up until that point there where he did that attack. He's got a few bites coming in, not enough to really get a harvester. Uh, those uh, APCs do pick one off. And he's, yeah, he's going to move that harvester away. Those APCs are going to finish those bites if they don't get out of there. Bikes trickling in now. They may be able to actually take one out. He, he's got War Factory repairs on it. He's kind of a bit all over the place here. That bike goes down. Uh, looks like the flame tanks. Oh no, the APCs moved in. I mean, and the flame tanks are trying to counter them. Flame tanks actually are doing pretty good against APCs. I mean, APCs don't have the heaviest armor in the world. They're only really like, it's only medium armor, I guess you'd call it. And uh, that construction yard will be okay. And oh no, these jugs. They can't really hit moving targets. Let's have a look how well the purifying flame does against jugs. Jugs have a little bit more heavier armor. But no, there's three of them and they do manage to take those jugs down. That is super powerful. I mean, again, these flame tanks aren't exactly your, your, your spearhead in your attack. You do need a lot of them to be effective. And a few mantis here. I'm not sure where those firehawks have gone. They're actually on the deck. I'm not sure if they've been bombing at all. I haven't actually noticed. And his base doesn't appear to be any less developed than it was before few APCs coming in but just APCs isn't going to help him he needs some tank weapons or some air support or something like that and look at this Conyard I can't wait to see that go down oh he sells it he sells it because he knows it's going down and it's actually heroic and two elite flame tanks there I can't believe he cannot stop flame tanks he should stop building APCs for starters he's got oh, and they're going to get in there they're going to get in he's got an orca on the deck he needs orcas or some tanks or something to kill these guys with because APCs won't work and now they're ranked up and he's got two heroics two heroics coming in and look at all the buildings go down he's got the health bars up now and they are just dropping everything far out man this is actually a pretty good replay he's got three heroics he's not even going to drop one of these guys and he's going to lose his whole base far out that is super devastating three heroics yeah again it's probably the GDI player's fault there he should have got some tank weaponry in there he's a predator tank in there now but it's not going to do much and he gets, he gets the life building. He doesn't lose a single one of those heroic tanks. Two of them are pretty badly damaged though. That was amazing. I'm not sure if that is going to need a nerf, but I mean really, in the replays where we saw it, the, the GDI player just didn't counter. 
He just didn't bother to build tanks, didn't bother to build orcas. You know, so it was kind of their own fault that they let those tanks get right in there. I mean, you can't counter flame tanks with rocket infantry, it just doesn't work. So, hope you all enjoyed those uh, replays. Here we are back on the menu. And uh, I'll bring some more from the next update uh, next week. Um, yeah, so remember, post your, post your replays. Uh, and they probably will get voted because there's a real shortage. And, um, anyway, so I hope you enjoyed these videos and I'll see you all later.